Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Fundas Global. I hope you guys are doing great today. And in this video of Google Ads course, I'm gonna teach you what are the difference, basic difference between get views campaign subtype, then efficient reach campaign subtype, then we do have target frequency campaign subtype. So guys, we have successfully taught you about performance max campaign and different types of other campaigns in Google Ads, right? Now we are in video campaigns and it types. That's why I'm teaching you about all these sub campaign types so that you don't get any problem or you don't get any misunderstanding about these campaign subtypes in video ads, right? So let's directly jump into our Google Ads dashboard and learn more about these three campaign subtypes. So guys, earlier I used to talk about the difference between custom video campaign and efficient reach, sorry, not efficient reach, target frequency. Yes, I used to talk about custom video campaign and target frequency, but now the custom video campaign is gone and this campaign type is basically split it into two parts. The first one is get views and the second one is efficient reach. Well guys, it's good that the custom video campaign is split it into two parts because now you can specifically select the campaign if your target basically if your target is to get views only get impressions and views only then you can go with get views campaign subtype or if you want to just increase your reach basically your target is to get as much as new audience as much as new viewers for your business then efficient reach campaign is for you right now let's learn more about these three types of campaign the first one is get views and here once you read this this says that get views and influence consideration of your product or brand with skippable in stream ads and in feed video ads right so get views offers only two types of ads the first one is skippable in stream ads I hope you uh, know that what is skippable in stream ads when you watch YouTube video, any YouTube video and suddenly any v, uh, any advertisement comes while you're watching your YouTube video that is known as skippable in stream ads and that particular video is skippable, right? You can skip that particular uh, advertisement after 5 seconds, 4-5 seconds, right? Then we have in-feed video ads. In-feed video ads basically appears in your search results or basically in your home whether it is web version or application mobile app you get in feed video ads there right then we do have efficient reach and basic the get views as the name suggests you get the point right if you want to get views as much as views you want your main aim is to get views on your uh, advertisement then this campaign type this campaign subtype is best for you right then we have efficient reach campaign sub campaign type right what is the use of it let's read it once reach more unique users at a lower cost with bumper ads skippable in stream ads or a mix of both ad types so efficient reach campaign offers two type of ads the first one is bumper ads bumper ads is basically when you click on any youtube video and before the video the ad appears right that bumps into your screen that is why it is called bumper ads then after bumper ads the efficient reach campaign offers one more ads type which is same this one right skippable in stream ads which appears in the middle of your video right and if you want you can select any one type or you can create a campaign with the mix of these two uh, ad types right and the basic aim or the main aim to use this campaign is to reach new users unique users at the lower cost minimum cost which google can offer you right so i hope you get the point what is the basic difference main difference between get views and efficient reach campaign now let's talk about target frequency what is the difference between these three basically so i'm talking about now target frequency how target frequency is different from get views and efficient reach so let's read it once reach the same people more than once with skippable in stream ads 
नॉन स्कीपेबल इन स्ट्रीम एड्स और बंपर एड्स सो लेट से यू वॉन्ट टू स्टिक विद योर ऑडियंस सो दैट दे डोंट फॉरगेट योर ब्रांड एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टिक विद योर ऑडियंस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टिक विद योर टारगेट ऑडियंस एंड यू वॉन्ट टू शो योर एड दम अगेन एंड अगेन देन यू शुड यूज टारगेट फ्रीक्वेंसी बिकॉज दिस विल हेल्प यू टू शो योर एड टू द सेम ऑडियंस टू द सेम यूजर अगेन एंड अगेन with different types of ads like skippable in stream ads then non skippable in stream ads and then bumper ads so i hope you know about skippable and bumper ads and the same we do have non skippable where uh, the ad will be non skippable the user will not be able to skip that particular ad right and the ad length non skippable ad length is usually around 15 seconds so for 15 seconds your user will not be able to skip that particular ad so when you are showing your ads again and again to a specific user it will help you to create good brand recall rate right so i hope you understood the basic difference between these three campaign types and the already name are suggesting that this uh, campaign type is to get views this campaign type is to get reach or new users or this campaign type is when you want to target any particular type of audience or particular type of uh, user right now let's do one thing let me select target frequency because these two campaigns are pretty simple right and if i go with this one i am selecting target frequency and let's hit the continue button so that we can see what things the target frequency has to offer So this is how the campaign creation process looks like. As you can see, this is four-step campaign creation process, and in campaign settings, we get lots of op uh, options, right? Campaign name, obviously, campaign name is pretty simple. Bidding strategy, budget, network, location, language, related videos, product feed, and we do have one option over here in campaign settings. As you can see, target frequency, like how many times you want to show your ad to any specific user. so right now it is defaultly set on 3 but if you want you can change the number to 4 to 2 3 4 this is the maximum number you can go 4 right so if you want to show your ad to the same audience four times then you have to select it here four otherwise you can set it on a def default number which is 3 right as you can see here a weekly frequency target is the average number of times you want ads from this campaign type to show to the same person over 7 days so three times ads will be shown to the same user on a weekly basis in 7 days three times the same particular ad will be shown to your user right i hope you understood and this option will not get offered in the different type of campaign subtype if you go back let's leave it now let me again click on video right if you select this or this you will not get that offer right let's go with efficient reach hit the continue button and here you get the simple options like bidding strategy and campaign start and end it and here you can select the network basically here you can select that whom you want to show your ads right so this is how you can uh, figure out that which campaign you want to uh, run right now and in the upcoming videos i'll be going to show you the proper campaign creation process on every campaign subtype so stay tuned with the playlist and i hope you learned from this video if you do so please hit that subscribe and like button also don't forget to share the playlist with your needy friends who want to learn google ads for free also let's meet in the next video till then bye bye